Welcome back, and let's talk about a super cute one, yet super serious one. First impressions, let's get after it. Okay, so first impressions, a lot of people have different concepts of what first impressions are, but think about this right now. You can pause me if you want. What is the first thing that people notice when they, uh, when they first meet you? All right, here we go. So levels of relationship. So first impression, the first thing people are going to notice about you is your, uh, your visual appearance. How are you dressed? How do you carry yourself? How do you talk? What's your voice? Are you an exciting person? Um, are you more of a, a reserved stoic person? Um, so those are the first things that people are going to remember about you. So when you're going for an interview, just realize that the levels of relationship, people are not going to be all buddy-buddy with you and talk about your beliefs, your emotions, what happened this last weekend. Unless you know the boss and you know then that might actually happen. I've actually seen that before. But most of the time, you don't know the boss or this is the first time meeting them. So make sure that uh, visual appearance is incredible. Um, and I can't really say like dress up suit and tie super nice and everything <laughs> what I'm saying is um, dress and tailor your outfit to um, the job that you're going for now I would say most of the time if you're going for a big girl big boy job you you want to wear that um, nice suit jacket you want to wear that nice dress you want to wear that nice um, slacks of uh, whatever you guys want to wear but let's just say for example the company is zoomies for example let's throw that one out there i think most people across the united states um and around the world know what zoomies is and if you showed up in a tie you are definitely not getting the job um you want to dress up probably like um something you would see people skating more laid back more fun more um how do you say it's loud um, so anyways, so don't worry so much about like, oh, I just, I don't feel like they got to know who I truly uh, was. Yeah, they're not going to know that in the first 15 minutes. And if they do, um, probably too much TMI. So make sure, um, yeah, just focus on this. You might tap into uh, interest, into the second level. So don't worry too much about your likes, dislikes, sharing who you truly are. This is where you guys are going to live, mostly in the first appearance, all this. And some people I've heard uh, through different research papers, so don't quote me on this, um, but they say if you make a bad first impression with anyone, whether it's a boss, a friend, or anybody, a uh, teammate, coworker, sometimes that takes an entire year for that person to uh, reverse their first impression of you. So first impressions, super, super important. Okay, um, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly, so please pause, read whatever you need to. Um, your resume, have about 20 copies on hand and make sure that you do not lie on any of them. Also, uh, you're going to see on some resumes, uh, you're going to see an objective statement. Now, the last five, 10 years has been hilarious because 10 years ago they go, we absolutely do not need an objective statement. And then some companies are like, oh, we still like them. <laughs> Want to impress them? Come with both. Come with a resume, one with the, uh, the um, objective and one without. That will actually impress anyone because you're like, oh, you don't want an objective statement? Boom, there it is. Okay, professional dress. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm going to say this. Tailor, tailor, tailor your outfit um, to what you're going through. Uh, and take a look at this. Um, please research your job. Even uh, go sneak into the business, like maybe as a customer, and go spy on them. Hey, what are they wearing? What are they talking about? What's the feeling like? Try to talk to someone. Hey, do you like working here? Um, what's it like? Like, I'm thinking about applying. What do you recommend? And a lot of times, people are pretty open with you uh, when you do that. So take a look at those. Um, and here's some other ones um, to consider. Now, do keep in mind that these are for professional jobs, for more career-oriented job. But once again, tailor, tailor, tailor. You might find it funny that if you go work for a, uh, a coding company or programming or website design or something digital marketing, all of a sudden you see uh, people with dreadlocks walking around and no shirt or no ties or anything. Um, and you're like, whoa, where am I? So really tailor um, your outfit to them. And I always like to say, step it one level above what they're going to interview you. So if they're wearing polos, guys, maybe step it up and wear a button-down shirt. They have a button-down shirt, put on a tie. They've got a tie and a button-down shirt, wear a suit jacket. Um, after that, I think the only next level is if you're James Bond and you need a tuxedo. So 
um, for guys, uh, <laughs> number one, please take out that iron and make sure that everything looks good. Um, get the lint roller if you have cats or dogs or anything. Um, growing up, I had a dog, so uh, before we left the house, we always lint rollered off all the dog hair because I had a crazy half beagle, half whippet dog. She was loud and fast. She could jump our six foot fence and chase birds all day long. Um, so read through those. Uh, here's some other ones for guys. Now the fun part is, is what I'm reading and talking to people is tattoos are a little bit more acceptable in the workplace. Maybe some extra piercings. But I always like to say, because people are like, I have to express my individuality. Yeah, well, just not today during your interview. Okay, it's you are selling yourself to them. Now, maybe we're having tattoos or extra earrings and things. Um, maybe that's a, a positive, like I said, tailored to what you're doing. Now, I know there's some people listening to this video and they're like, oh, yes, preach it. Tell them to take off the tattoos or hide them or take off the earrings or, or nose gauge or whatever gauges you have, wherever they may be. Uh, and some people are like, oh, I am so offended. I cannot believe it. Well, I'm just trying to get you guys hired. That's all. Whatever you guys want to wear in your personal life, I don't really care, and neither do your bosses. All right, so uh, this is one of my favorite sites. So, yeah, maybe for a professional job, uh, something dressed up nice like this. This person, uh, I think one of the vampires, he really doesn't care. Um, so, uh, follow-ups. Okay, during the interview, please, 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 strong handshakes all around in any job that you possibly have. No, don't give them the fish handshake. Everybody knows what the fish handshake is. It's where it's weak and it just feels weird and you want to go grab some Lysol and, or um, some something to clean your hands and just, ugh, yep, don't do it. Um, collect business cards or exchange email addresses, whatever the follow-up may be. Um, Okay, um, next, a follow-up letter, follow-up emails, always great within the next 24 hours, saying, hey, thank you so much for this opportunity to interview. Uh, one of my favorite things is if you are traveling and uh, you have to, you're just going to the city for a day, uh, have a pre-written out thank you letter and just turn to the secretary if they have one. Uh, once you leave and be like, hey, would you be able to give this to um, the people interviewing like in an hour or two hours? Man, how good does that look that you have I've already written it out, you gave it to them, and um, guess what? Maybe they're interviewing 10 people, and they see that one letter like, oh man, that person was so awesome. Hey, let me look at their resume one more time. They take out your resume. Oh, this looks fantastic. Okay, hey, guess where your resume just ended up? At the top of the pile. You may have just improved your odds of getting hired. Um, and then lastly, my hope for all of you guys is that you guys get hired and you get the the dream job that you guys have always wanted. So please make sure you guys are respectful on interviews. Make sure you guys are um, on time. Make sure you guys make good first impressions because like I said before, according to research, it might take an entire year for you guys to erase a bad first impression with people. So I hope you guys are having a, uh, a great morning, great afternoon, or great night. So you guys take care.